just so we can tie quantum mechanics and quantum field theory together, you've already said that a field is something that has a value at every location in space, but this doesn't really give a very intuitive conception of what a, a field might actually be like. So do you have a way of describing a field that makes it seem, I don't know, more more physical, for lack of a, a better word? You know, there's lots of different ways, and I can give you a couple, but I will also just opine that you should suck it up, <laughs> that you should really come to terms with the claim that what a field is, is something that has a value at every point in space-time. That's really what fields are. You can Don't let the metaphors or the analogies have too much of a grip on you. Of course, there are many of them. If you go out to the ocean or to a lake and you see waves on the surface, the height of the wave above the average water level is a function of where you are, right? That's a field. It has a different value at every point. In this room, if I go with a thermometer, I could measure the temperature at each point of the air in this room. That's a field. Anything that has a value at every point in space and time is a field. As I said, towards knitting these two perspectives together, in quantum mechanics, the wave function governs particle <laughs> configurations. What does it concern in quantum field theory? And do you think it's fair to describe quantum field theory as I mean, the successor to quantum mechanics? Or you just subsume it under quantum mechanics? Quantum field theory is a kind of quantum mechanics. It is quantum mechanics applied to fields rather than to particles. So in both cases, there is a wave function because it's both quantum mechanics. In the case of particle mechanics, the wave function can be thought of as a function of where you might see the particles, right? Psi of x1, x2, etc. If you have a field, let's call it phi, a different Greek letter, phi of x, okay? Then it will have a wave function, but that wave function is now a function of every possible profile that that field might have throughout space. So think of every possible field profile phi of x, not each value, sorry, I keep bumping in, I'm getting too excited talking about quantum <laughs> field theory, uh, not each value at each x, but all the possible values of the function phi of x. Okay, the wave function of that field will assign a number to every possible function, phi of x. And you can imagine in your mind that somehow you were able to observe that field all at once, everywhere, throughout all of space. And then the wave function of that field would tell you the probability of getting different measurement outcomes for that measurement. <laughs>